this is Jen from Newton's Nook Designs. Today I'm here to talk to you about our brand new July product release. July marks the uh, birthday for our company. We started in the month of July 10 years ago. So we're super excited to be celebrating our 10 year birthday and what a better way to celebrate than with birthday filled products. So we've got lots of fun birthday things this month filled with dogs and cats and hot foils and confetti. Um, we know there's something for everybody to love. So hang out with me today and I will show you each of the products in a little bit closer detail. And then I'll show you some projects I made with it so you can be inspired to create. First, I'm gonna to talk to you about our new cat theme products. Um, if you don't know, our company, Newton's Nook Design, was named after our kitty, Newton, who was our real live orange kitty that we had when we started our business 10 years ago. Um, we lost Newton a few years ago, but he had a fabulous long life. He lived to be 18 years old, and he still lives on in our stamps and our logo, and he appears a lot in a lot of our products, so that makes us feel good about Newton because he was definitely a special kitty, and we love that he lives on in our products. And of course, we have a couple of new kitties now, as you probably know if you follow us on Instagram. Um, but let's talk about our new cat products. So first we have two, uh, well, one new stamp that has two awesome tall images in it. Um, this one is called Newton's Birthday Delights. And these tall images are awesome because you can use them on a card front or um, you can use them on our bookmark too. They will fit in the bookmark die. So if you know someone who likes to read, um, maybe you could give them a bookmark for their birthday or you could um, make a bookmark to go in a book that's a gift, um, or you could just use them on the front of a card. So lots of things you can do with this. Um, right here, we've got two kitties on a large birthday cake. And then this one has kitty heads that are kind of dispersed amongst the ice cream scoop. So just really cute image. And we have for sentiments, happy birthday with a cherry on top which goes perfectly with the kitty with a cherry on his head, and heights of delights for your birthday. Um, of course, you have a couple little extra. There's an extra birthday hat, um, a cherry, some sprinkles, a little gift. So, And then a coordinating die is also available for that. Then we have a really fun new paper pad. Um, we've really been good getting good feedback on our six by six paper pads. So it seems like everybody's really enjoying these. They've been a lot of fun for me to, to design. So that's a lot of fun um, to color the different kitties and the images for you guys. Uh, let me show you what's included in this one. Uh, we get some Newtons with cupcakes. Then we have some orange and black kitties in gift bags. Some kitties floating up on big balloons and little bundles of balloons. Super cute. This one kind of coordinates with our Newton's birthday balloon stamp set, if you have that one. Um, here's some kitties singing happy birthday. This one is Newton with a big stack of cake, and that's similar to our Newton Loves Cake stamp set, if you have that one. Here's some birthday balloons with little kitty balloons immersed in. And this is like the stamp, the big ice cream cone with kitty faces. Here's some more Newton and cake, or other kitties and cake. Newton and friends. Here's some kitties with party hats. That one just makes me smile. And then kitties with birthday gifts. And then this is like the other stamp in the set. So we've got the kitties climbing a tall cake. And of course, we have some simple uh, prints of just presents. And this is, they all repeat, so you get two of each design. And then on the other side, we have a more basic patterns, sprinkles, stars, dots, party hats, confetti, balloons, gifts, things like that. So that's what you get. And again, like I said, you get two of each pattern, so you don't have to worry about using it up. And that's what you get in this one. So let me show you what I created with that next. The first card I created features the image of the kitties on the large birthday cake. 
and I made it into a card. I uh, watercolored the kitty image uh, using watercolor markers and kind of bright pastels. And then I used the hat to add on to this kitty on the top. For the card, I used a pink card base and then I added some of the paper patterns from the Birthday Meows paper pad. And then the little jimmies here and or sprinkles, depending on what you call them, and then some plaid. And then I added the sentiment here, a little bow, and then this edge was cut out using our framework die set. That's one of the frames, frame dies that's in that. So you can see how easy that was, how fun it is to add those little paper prints. It makes a quick and easy card and so cute. Next, I created a card using just the papers. So here's like three different paper pads. This one with the sprinkles, that one with the tall ice creams, and this one with the cupcake. And then I just kind of cut the papers at angles to match them up inside this panel. I framed it with a little pink and then framed it again with a die cut frame from our Frames and Flags die set. And a circle in the center that holds the sentiment happy birthday with a cherry on top. Thought that called out the cherry on the ice cream really well. So you can see it's really fun to use those pattern papers too. If you need a quick card, this makes a super quick card. Once you figure out the measurements, you could make several of these using different patterns and then you have a whole set of cards ready to go when you need a birthday card, especially if you have some cat lovers on your birthday card list. Um, so that is that. And then of course I made a bookmark so here's what you could do to make a bookmark. You can see how that fits on the fun bookmark die. Um, what I did is I cut it out once first from a Bristol cardstock to have kind of a nice thick card base. And then I layered over it um, some of the prints from the Birthday Meows paper. And this sentiment is actually from our Newton Summer Treats stamp set. So if you like kitties and ice cream, you wanna check that one out too, cause that has Newton with some different ice creams um, as well. And I thought the sentiment from that one went perfectly on this bookmark since we have lots of ice cream. And then I just tied it with some various ribbons and twine. So super cute little bookmark. Next we have dog themed products. So although we're more of cat people in our household, we know there's a lot of dog lovers out there and I do enjoy drawing the dogs as well. So we have to be even and have some dog products too. And so we have our birthday wolf's uh, paper pad and our birthday barks stamp set and die. So the birthday barks stamp set and die is similar to the Newton one. At this time we have dog doggies. So we have this little guy here holding the, the stack of dogs. He's got a gift on his back. Well, the dog's sitting on the gift. The dog has a cupcake on his nose. And then there's this other dog who's holding this balloon that kind of strings through the whole scene down to this dog's mouth. So it's kind of fun how all the puppies connect with each other and make a cute little birthday stack. And then this one has another stack of dogs. So now we've got a dog blowing a little birthday noisemaker. And on his head is a another dog, a little fluffy dog. And this dog is holding up a cake. And on that cake is a little dog wearing a birthday hat. <laughs> so I had a lot of fun illustrating these images with the dogs and stacks because they were just so fun to work on. Um, and again, these will fit on a card front or they will fit on a bookmark. Um, just like the last set, um, except this one's dog themed. And then we have, for sentiments, bark for another birthday, let's potty, and raise the woof. I thought you could easily pair like raise the woof with let's potty as a fun birthday card or even a party invitation. Maybe you have a, a child who likes dogs and you want to make party invitations. That would be great for that. Um, it also includes an extra paw print, a balloon, some sprinkles, and a cake. And a die set is available to coordinate with that as well. And let me show you what's exactly in the Birthday Wolf's paper. So again, this is a 6x6 six six paper pad, double-sided. You get two of each page, each pattern. Um, so on the fronts, we have the more dog 
themed ones. So we've got some dogs with cake. Here's the one that looks a lot like, um, this one actually looks like the one that was on the kitty one, but there's doggies on a big stack of gifts this time. Um, this one is like our delightful Doxies stamp set where we have dachshunds and balloons. If you had that stamp set, this would go perfectly with that. Then we've got little dogs, um, a pug and a, a little terrier in gift bags. So they're fun. Here's the one that's like the stack of puppies that was on the stamp set I just showed. So similar, but colored in fun colors. Some balloons, more puppies. This time all the puppies have gifts. And then this one's similar to the other stack of dogs with the present, the cupcake and the balloon. Then of course we have to have dog faces with party hats and dogs with lots of balloons up in the sky and more party hats. And then we have some Labradors on this one, um, the one with the gift on his nose and one with a stack of gifts. And then I think that was the first one, right? Yeah. So that's all the patterns you get in that one. And then the back sides again are filled with things like stars, gifts, party hats, confetti, plaid, balloons, polka dots, um, stripes, things like that, more basic patterns. So you get a lot of fun doggy patterns. So if you have anyone who likes dogs, you'll definitely want to pick this up um, to make dog birthday cards for them. So for that set, I created this adorable birthday card using the bark for another birthday <laughs> on the card for the sentiment. And I used the doggies in a big stack with the gift and the cupcake and the balloon all intertwined. And then for a background, I used our cloud stencil and our hills and grass stencil with distress inks to just kind of make a fun scene. And I cut that out with this as our frames and flags die set with a stitched rectangle. And then this outer one of birthday hats was also cut out with our frames and flags die set with the larger scalloped edge. So a fun little scene for a birthday. And then of course, it's just a little bit of twine gives it a fun detail. Using the papers, I also made this one, um, which I use the Let's Paw Tea and Raise the Wolf on there as a fun birthday card. Again, I used a little bit of yellow twine over a few different strips of pattern paper. So you can see again, how easy it would be to make a handful of birthday cards for dog lovers um, with this. And then the circles were cut out using our circle frames die set. And the sentiments, of course, were from the, the same Birthday Barks stamp set. And a bookmark for this one as well, so you can see how it fits on the bookmark. Um, on this one, I used, again, the Bristol cardstock to make the bookmark base to give it a nice little weight. And then I added a little bit of grass uh, using our um, Land Borders die set. And I added a cloud using our Sky Borders die set. And the sentiment, Raise the Wolf, is from the Birthday Barks, just like this image here. So, so cute. Um, it would be a fun way to add a gift. You could make this for the card, tuck this inside, put it in a larger envelope, and mail it to someone, and they would get like a fun little surprise gift inside their card. That would be really fun. Next, I'm gonna talk about our new hot foil products. Uh, our first uh, hot foil sets were introduced a few months ago when we did a jar with some fireflies um, and some fun bright sentiments uh, that went with glowing fireflies and, and brightness. Um, and we had so much fun working with those that we decided to do another set. This time they're birthday themed. So we have this fun confetti border um, that you can use across the center of your card, the top or bottom, um, or you could do it twice and fill your whole card front. So that's the confetti border. And then we did some more sentiments. These ones are birthday words. So we have happy birthday. I'll read them for you since they're backwards. Make a wish, time to celebrate, 
Hip Hip Hooray, and many more, and just a little late in case you have a belated card to send out. And this was introduced last month, but I just wanted to show you that these sentiments would all fit inside this, this Banner Duo die set again. So the ones that went with the Firefly and Jar fit in, and now the birthday ones fit in it. So you have two hot foil sets, but you only need one die to cut them all out. I love to do stuff like that and make it, you know, the best value for you. And then, because we're doing cat and dog themed birthday products, I thought we should do a paw print border. So this is just a little trail of paw prints. You could add it, as, again, as a border on your card, or you could um, foil it multiple times and make a background. Um, there's lots of different things you could do with it. I thought it'd be great for birthdays, but it would also be great for any pet themed cards you're creating. So I will show you a few projects created with those next. So here's what I created using the confetti and the birthday greetings hot foils. So you can see I hot foiled that confetti twice um, coming up all the way. This is the whole thing from the bottom and then on the top I only did about half of it and kind of let it go off the edge of the page. And that's just so pretty in person. You can see how it shimmers and shines. I did it with gold confetti. And then I just did some ink blending over the top. And then I added the sentiment, which is happy birthday. And that's also in gold foil. And I used the Banner Duo die to cut that out. So simple. So super simple birthday card um, once you get the hot foiling part down and you could make this in any colors you liked for anyone for a special if they have a favorite color or anything like that. So that's that. And this one took a little bit more time but it was super fun to create. I took a bunch of the different words um, and I did it kind of a few at a time. I would put a few down using a little bit of tape to hold them in place. Um, and I use different colors of foil. So you see some are gold, some are green, some are blue, some are silver, got copper and purple in there. And I just foiled all the words um, and made a background panel using all those different words. And it just turned out so fun. And of course, when I got down to the bottom, do you see what I did? There's a little error there, but you know what? I like it. I'm going to leave it. Does anybody see that? Leave me a comment if you see what I did wrong. Anyway, and then I put this uh, in the middle, this happy birthday on a black. And then I just added a little edge of scallop. Um, that is one of the borders from our sky borders die set. And then a little bow. So a fun way to make a birthday card. Like I said, I did have to file, foil this one several times, so it did take a little bit longer, but I think it was worth it because it turned out so fun. Last is the paw prints foil. Now this one I also did do several times um, so I could have different colors and I just kind of lined, I foiled the blue and then I lined up the next one and foiled it green, silver, copper, and then blue again. I guess more of a teal blue. But I just love how that turned out. It's so cute. Um, and then I added the bark for another birthday from our birthday barks stamp set on an oval that was cut out with our oval frames die set. And the whole thing was cut out using the scalloped edge from our frames and flags die set. So you can see how much fun it is to add that foil to give a shimmer and shine. Now I did make this one a birthday card to go with this release, but you could easily make it into a thank you for a dog sitter um, or, you know, a welcome new pet. You know, there's lots of things you could do any sort of pet theme with this. Then I brought in the sets that we just released this month. So we have our Newton's Birthday Delights with all the ice creams. And I combined that with the confetti now. So you can see how fun that is. So this image is watercolored. 
but then the one in the background is foiled onto some pink paper. And then I added the hip hip hooray, um, and that one I cut out using that banner duo. This time I used the straight edge version, and that's uh, the blue foil on that. So super fun. And this one, um, it could be birthday, it could just be for a celebration, or maybe somebody got a new job, or you know anything like that you want to celebrate. This would be a great card to send. And then the last one I want to share with you is the paw prints with the birthday barks. So in this case, I hot foiled some silver paw prints along the edge there. You can see how fun that is. And then on this just panel of blue paper, and then I added a strip of fun plaid from the birthday wolf's paper pad. And then I colored those doggies to kind of match that plaid. Um, and then I added the happy birthday that is also foiled with uh, that tealy blue foil onto a lime green paper and cut out with the banner duo, this time with the fishtail edge. So you can see how fun it is to mix and match the products together um, and make birthday cards. You can make fun new pet cards. We'll walk through them again. And the foils just add such a fun shimmer and shine to your cards. I hope you are enjoying the foiling and I hope you're enjoying um, our new products this month. Whether you like dogs or cats, there's definitely something for you. You know, and even if you don't have pets yourself, you probably want to send cards to someone who might have a cat or a dog who, or who likes cats or dogs. Because even though I don't have a dog, um, I have lots of friends who have dogs, so I love to use those dog stamps for that. So that is everything I created. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video today and for helping us celebrate 10 years. We really appreciate um, every order we get makes a difference. We are a small business and we just love to do what we do and we love to share it and we love to see what everybody creates. So if you are creating um, with our stuff, make sure you share it with us. I uh, use hashtag Newton's Nook or join, join us on Instagram, join us on Facebook. We have a create and share group on there that you can share projects in because we just love to see um, what everybody makes. After 10 years in business, the best part is seeing all the creations still uh, from everybody. So we appreciate everybody and thank you so much for helping us get to 10 years and we hope that there'll be many more years of fun kitties and puppies and, and other things, of course, too. But um, thank you again for celebrating. Thank you for watching and make sure you like this video and follow us to get more updates. Uh, subscribe to our channel so you know when we, when we add new content. Thank you and have a great day.